we arrived on the scene, the EMS shows up to start to arrive. They're going to start assessing the patients. It doesn't even take modern technology to get word out faster to family and friends. It's some show up at the crash scene. Our parents aren't far from home. And you can see mom is at the scene, wondering where her child is. It has already been determined that someone has died at the scene. The Special Traffic Investigation, STI, is going to be called to dispatch the scene to handle the investigation. Several law enforcement agencies, Border Patrol, EPISD, the Police Department, Sheriff's Department, even DPS, um, have arrived to assist the Police Department and School PD with the scene and crowd control. Sometimes than not, these vehicles are struck together to the point you can't even open the doors. And fire department has to use extrication devices to remove them. El Paso police officers made contact with the driver who caused a crash and finds that he appears to be intoxicated. She begins to conduct the standard field sobriety test.
So you're gonna go ahead and call it. Just my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. If you have a trash grab it. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Don't move your head, all right? Up in real quick. Move your head. While the officer is checking the driver, the thing they're checking right now is called smooth pursuit. If you're not able to follow the finger left and right, up and down, then there's obviously something in your system. Okay, Claire. Are you ready for the next test? This is called yeah. the lock and turn test, okay? Okay. All right. What I need you to go ahead and do is I'm going to tell you to get in a certain position, and I need you to stay in that position so I tell you that you want to watch that shine. Good. Yes, sir? Okay. So from where we're at, we're back to make sure you need to imagine a straight line. You understand? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and place your left foot on that imaginary line for me, just like this. Go ahead and place your right heel touching your left toe. You okay? All right, you're gonna be looking at me because I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate to you, okay? Okay, for this test, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps on that imaginary line from wherever you're at in that direction. Make sure that your arms are by your side the whole time. Make sure that you're looking down at your feet. Make sure that you're counting out loud for me. Okay? So I know how many steps you're taking. It's nine. Nine heel to toe steps. Okay? Once you take your nine step, make sure that your front foot is planted. Make sure that you're, you use your other foot to give a series of small steps to turn back around. And then that same line, you're going to give nine heel to toe steps back in this direction. Okay? Same instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate by only doing three. Okay? You're going to do nine. You understand? Yes. All right. This is what it's going to look like. You have any questions for me? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Once you start the test, you not stop. You may begin. Okay. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, Okay, for this next test, it's called the wall neck stand, okay? Go ahead and place your feet together and arms by your side. Okay, stay in this position until I tell you to do otherwise. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, let's move it this way. Give me a couple steps this way, okay? You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you sure? Do you have any injuries on your ankles, on your legs? No, I don't feel it. I feel good. You feel great? Yeah. Okay? We'll talk right now, okay? Okay, what happened? What happened? Are you okay? We'll talk right now, okay? Are you ready for this next test? Yeah. You sure? Alright, feet together, arms by your side, okay? For this test, you're gonna choose between lifting your left leg or your right leg approximately six inches off the ground, okay? okay. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna be using my left leg, okay? So go ahead and look at me while I'm going to take the last you. picture, right? Not second yeah, test until I tell you to do it. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and place your, your side like we've been doing for the past few tests. And then we're gonna lift that leg. Okay, approximately six inches off the ground, which is approximately a dollar. Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off
okay? And she kept out loud, three times. Take it off. Take it on and so forth until they tell you to stop. You understand the instructions? Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so you can stop. You got a little input. You get all the units out of here. Ready? Maybe. Look down at your foot. Okay, so you may stop, okay? Go ahead and put your hand behind your back. has determined the driver has failed it's the standard field sobriety test is placed in handcuffs the driver is now under arrest and transported uh, to the police station under the suspicion of dwi driving while intoxicated <coughs> and later he will be booked into the county the sti unit has already been dispatched and arrived on the scene they're going to be setting up some computer devices some scanners to be able to recreate the scene. It's not considered a sobering. All the other victims were transported code three, lights and sirens, to area hospitals for treatment of their injuries.
As you can see, this mother's heart has been ripped from her body. Literally watching her, her baby be taken from her, not to the hospital and not back home. News has just been called back over dispatch that another one of the patients who was in the vehicle has also passed away and succumbed to the injuries as a result of this crash. The medical examiner had already been dispatched to the scene, had pronounced the body dead, and the body will now be transferred.
the street and other distractions, either inside or outside the vehicle. And of course, the use of alcohol and other drugs, to name a few. STI will complete a rough draft here, a diagram here at the scene, and later digitally recreate the scene from the beginning all the way to the end for the court. So regardless of the outcome, lives will be changed. One family will be out their child or sibling for several years until they're released from prison. Other families will deal with mental and physical injuries that may or may not heal. But some families will never see their family member again, except in photographs and memories. One mistake can last a lifetime or take a life. Make the right choice. Thank you.